like I stuck it. Walk it, walk it like I stuck it. Walk it, walk it like I stuck it. Ooh, walk it like I stuck it. You walk it like I stuck it. Walk, walk it like I stuck it. Walk it, walk it like I stuck it. Ooh, walk it like I stuck it. Hey, walk it like I. to another video on breeches and sweats this is obviously a very different video because a i'm sitting down and not near a barn and b because i have a dog next to me um and i rarely have my dogs in any of my videos but this video is all about this little guy say hi goosey i wanted to officially introduce the breeches and sweats community to this cute little boy i have here so first and foremost, I just wanted to introduce him, obviously. So this is Goose. He actually was originally named Klaus from The Vampire Diaries. Um, and so a little bit of backstory about him. He was found in South Carolina by Danny and Rons, which is a fantastic dog rescue. Uh, if you haven't checked them out at all, you definitely should go research about them and also watch their Life in the Doghouse documentary. It's fantastic. He was found in South Carolina by a volunteer of Danny and Rons, and he was seen being thrown out of a car with his four other litter mates. They were thrown one by one, and Danny and Rons brought them in. They ended up having a little bit of mange, so they had to get treated for that. But Danny and Ron posted them, I would say probably about two months ago now in February. And my mom saw a picture of him and his litter mate and sent us a picture. My mom started following Danny and Ron because they were in Wellington and also because we had so many friends who had adopted dogs from them. So we always kept our eye out, um, but we do have two other dogs already at home. So we were a little apprehensive of getting a third dog just with our traveling lifestyle and just our lifestyle in general. But uh, Klaus at the time caught her eye and she sent, I think just me privately a photo and then was talking about it. She actually got in contact with Stephanie who runs part of their South Carolina um, location. After contacting Stephanie, she said that they wouldn't be heading down to Florida anytime soon because they had a little bit of mange that they were working with. Um, and my mom was like, okay, totally understand, but let me know if they ever come to Wellington. I was golf carting with me and my sister and then a couple of people from our barn when my sister spotted a puppy and it was one of the puppies that we had seen from another litter and my sister just got so excited. I don't, I didn't know why at the time and she just booked it. If you know, like the WEF um, showgrounds at all, we were at farm stand. So she booked it from farm stand all the way to Danny and Ron's location at Oasis. And I had no clue what was happening. I was just like, okay, like I'm starving. I want to get my food. And I get a call from her about five minutes later saying, Klaus is here, Klaus is here. And I was like, oh my God, because we had just talked about him for probably at that point a month. Um, and we had no idea that he was coming because my mom had kind of said like, if it happens, it happens. If it doesn't, it doesn't. But don't bring these dogs just for us because we're apprehensive about getting a third dog. Booked it over there with the golf cart as fast as the golf cart could possibly go. And I mean, the minute I saw him, I was just obsessed with him. He was so cuddly and sweet and he just melted in our arms. And luckily, because my mom knew something like this would happen, she put in an application early for any dog so that we had an approved application. So if we saw a dog at the horse show, we would be able to adopt it as soon as possible. So we call our mom and we're like, mom, you have to come see this dog. Can we take him for an overnight? We're so obsessed with him. Please, 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 please. And I think my mom was definitely caught off guard a little bit. And like, she had no time to think because they were closing in an hour because they had a big event going on that night. So they had to close early in order to prepare. So she booked it to, <laughs> she booked it to the barn and we drove her up. So she booked it to the show, we took him in and they my, they had given my mom a call just to see like if she was still game to do an overnight. And my mom was like, yes, but I can't guarantee that we're going to adopt him. And they were like, no big deal. And we ended up getting him, <laughs> we ended up getting him like an hour later, we brought him back. And I mean, the minute my dad found out that we had brought the dog home, he was like 
we cannot do three dogs. No way. Like with your travel schedule, because we were back and forth from Wellington for the majority of the circuit. Um, and so we had two dogs here still. So it's just really like, it, I mean, it was just hard to have two dogs in the dead of winter. And also three dogs is a lot. With two dogs, you can have one leash on each hand and it's perfectly fine. But with three, you either have to take two out and then take the next one out or try to manage all three dogs on a leash. So we brought him home. Um, and I mean the first night, uh, I mean, no, not even the first night, an hour after we got him, I was smitten. Like I just was so obsessed with this dog. He was sweet. He was so chill and relaxed. Like, he went everywhere with us that first day. He went to the show. Um, he went back to the barn. He met Toast, our barn dog. He met all of our grooms. The grooms loved him. He met the horses. I mean, he just met so many different people and horses and things and was just like, okay. He took naps. He was so good about sleeping. He had some energy, but not too much. Like he wasn't too, too crazy, but he was just at like that perfect amount where you could play and like it'd be fun. We took him home and when we got home, he was just a mush. Uh, we didn't get like have any pet supplies. So we had like bowls from our house. So we like put bowls down on the ground for water and food. They sent us home with a great care package of um, his food that he was on, his medicated shampoo, which we gave him a bath um, when we got home just because he was at the barn all day and we just wanted to give him a bath before he came home. Um, it had a harness and an extra leash. Um, and then he had a collar, a leash. Um, and he had two different collars, one of Danny and Ron's and one just like of his personal collar, if that makes sense. Um, and then it also had poop bags. Um, so we only had that. So like for toys, we gave him a water bottle, an empty water bottle. Um, so we didn't, we weren't prepared for this at all. He laid on the couch with us while we watched a show and like, a much to the point where like he's like fully on his back upside down um sleeping and it's the cutest thing ever and like i started to fall in love with him and it was like i didn't know what we we're gonna do because i knew my dad really didn't want a third dog and the next morning he sleeps in my sister's bed overnight not the brightest idea for a puppy but we had no crate. So we get to the next morning and i wake up and my sister and my mom are sitting with him and my mom's like i we can't adopt him we absolutely cannot and we were all like okay like everyone loved him everyone was like this is the perfect third dog if you're gonna get a third dog it'd be him but we were like we can't we can't do it so we spend the morning just playing with him enjoying the last couple of like hours we had with him we kind of came to the conclusion that even though we weren't adopting him we gave him a fantastic overnight full of couches and food and you know it was not only really great for him to experience that, but it was also just really good for him to just have a night separate from his litter and just see how he is. And especially because they have these fantastic descriptions on their crates of like, hi, my name is so-and-so and I like this and I like this. So we thought that this would be great to like tell them a little bit more of his personality, um, all that. So we end up talking to my dad a little bit. And again, he was like, I can't do it. So we're like, fine. So we drive to the horse show. We didn't want to drive to the barn and then drive up. We just like had to rip the bandaid off. So we drive to the horse show and we are probably sitting in the parking lot for about an hour, bawling our eyes out. And I mean, I didn't think I would cry over a dog, but for some reason, this dog, I've like fallen in love with. I'm bawling, my mom's bawling, my sister's bawling. We called uh, my aunt first because she's our third voice of reason. And she was like, you guys cannot do a third dog, not with your lifestyle. And then we called my dad and he was like, I can't, we can't do it. <laughs> like we cannot do it with our dog. And we were like, okay, we have to do this. So we bring him back to Danny and Ron's. And I mean, we're all bawling our eyes out crying. It was probably what I thought would be the worst day that I've ever had be just because it was just so hard. Um, so we come back to the barn and I cannot compose myself. Like every little, like if it, I felt like straight out of a movie for some odd reason, like everywhere I looked reminded me of him. And I got to the point where I went to go hug our barn dog Toast because Toast is like, I love Toast more than anything. And I started crying from that because I missed him so much. So I finally had to go into the car and compose myself because I just could not 
stop crying. My sister was about to get on to show, so I was like, I can't have red eyes as my sister's showing. Like, I have to put on a happy, brave face. So I decide I'm going to take a golf cart ride just to like dry everything up and maybe even just like talk with my mom a little bit. So I go get the golf cart keys, put in the golf cart, get in and I'm driving and all of a sudden my mom is walking towards me and I'd seen she's on the phone, but I figured it was with someone else, but she comes, <laughs> she comes walks towards me and I'm like, she's like looking at me kind of weird and I'm like, what is going on? And she just looks at me and goes, let's go get our dog. And I was like, what? um i was like absolutely shocked and i was like dad and she was like dad just said i didn't think you're actually gonna listen to me go get your dog and i was like bawling at that point i was so 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 excited i run into the bar natalie's putting her helmet on and i'm like natalie 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 she's like what and i'm like mom just said let's go get our dog and she just looks at my mom like are you serious and she's like yeah i just called them she originally couldn't get a hold of the people in wellington so she called stephanie from um south carolina that had him originally and was like please please put a hold on him we're coming to get him now and so we book it over me and my mom book it over natalie's getting on to show so the poor thing has to now go show after this like roller coaster of emotions. So we start to drive up. I'm driving and I'm like shaking as I'm driving and this golf cart cannot go fast enough. And so we get a call from the people in Wellington and we're like, yes, like we have him held for you. Come and get him. You got him literally just in time because someone was about to finish an application for him. And we were like, oh. um, but we like raid, we get to Oasis where Danny and Ron's is. And I mean, I'm like speed walking as fast as I can. And there he is, he was so cute um in his crate with his sister and i'm just like hi closey hi closey hi closey um and my mom like had to do the paperwork she was like go pay attention to him go take care of him and like they wouldn't let him out just because like i obviously was back and forth between um like learning about the signing of everything and being with him and they finally like opened the crate and handed him to me and i was i was so so happy and luckily they took a picture of us the day before for like they post on their facebook about everyone who's been adopted so i didn't have red eyes when i took the photo i think we definitely for the first couple of days was like what have we done with a puppy when we got him he was 13 weeks so we were like this is a we usually get our puppies at like four to six months not 13 weeks old so that was a lot um, but I was just so utterly excited and it was just like the most special day and like so unexpected. I thought we were going to be letting him go forever, but turns out he's not. But, um, to sum everything up of how he transitioned from Klaus to Goose, my mom did not like the name Klaus. I think A, she did not comprehend who like Klaus really was, but also because Klaus just didn't suit him at all. Like it was just a really big name and a really like, yeah, it was a really big name for a really small dog. And so we were just like, it doesn't really work. I mentioned the name Maverick from Top Gun and I, cause I'm like a huge Top Gun fan. Um, and my mom was like, no, I don't think so. Like it's a little too big for him still. Um, and then we all were like, what about Goose? And we played around with so many other names, but it just kept coming back to Goose. And I mean, the minute we decided that his name was officially Goose, he just, he knew it. Like he did not know Klaus whatsoever. He didn't know the name, he couldn't come, anything. But the minute we started calling him Goose, like all of a sudden he knew like exactly who he was. So he's now 17 weeks old or four months old today. He is officially the best puppy we've ever had. Um, he settled in really nicely with his sisters. He absolutely adores his sister. He cuddles with them all the time. He plays with them all the time. He's just like, he just loves them. He's also great because he loves toys and bones, which is a huge bonus for a puppy. Um, our older dog that we have has never played with toys. Um, which as a puppy, she, we got her a little bit older anyways, but it's still hard to have a puppy that doesn't want to play with toys. Um, and then our other dog loves toys. So it's been a little bit of a transition for her to learn how to share her toys. Um, but he's overall just been such a perfect dog, especially because I'm now done with high school, which is kind of crazy. Um, it's been really nice, like in the mornings to go on walks with him and play around with him. Um, I've never really had a dog that does that. Both of our dogs that we have now are definitely lazy. 
Um, so it's nice to have a dog that loves going on walks and like will run around and play fetch and all that stuff. He's also really, really smart. Um, the first, like, I would say after we had him probably for a couple days, we started to teach him a couple tricks and he picked up sit down, roll over, paw, high five, literally in a day, but he's just the smartest puppy in the world. He's pretty smart about, um, house breaking. He, you know, we definitely are on him about it and we make sure, you know, every we're paying attention to him constantly and every hour we make sure that he's gone out but um he's really good he's been very very good recently about asking us like saying hey i have to go out overall he's just been a really really great dog and a perfect addition to the family but you know i've already posted him in like a couple of vlogs and pictures on my instagram but i wanted to officially introduce him on breaches and sweats as i'm sure you guys will see a lot more of him in the future Thank you guys so much for watching this video and even though Goose is exhausted, he says thank you too. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. She's a Mona Lisa. Hey.